Hello everybody and happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me today on Fun Friday. My name is Michelle and I'm the Senior Recreation Coordinator at the Newnham Campus at Seneca. And um, we've got a great episode, episode, it's like I'm on a TV show. We've got, we've got a, a great topic today. I'm gonna to talk about how to upcycle old socks. So, um, old socks. I have this bin of old socks or single socks. Does anyone else have a bin like this or am I the only one? It's um, all my single socks end up in this bin um, and I'm just waiting and hoping that their partner and friend is gonna show up one day. They never do, but I hang on to this old bin just in case. I do, however, have an entire cupboard full of Tupperware containers and I am convinced a little bit that when um, single socks, when they're when I just get one single sock out of the dryer, their partner has somehow made its way back as a Tupperware lid. So single socks, but today we're gonna to talk about some fabulous ideas and what to do with those single socks or those old socks or socks that have a hole in them, how to upcycle old socks. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, probably one of um, the easiest things to do and probably uh, the best use is just to take an old sock, and I, I like these fuzzy ones for this, is to use this for a rag. Literally, you put it over your hand like that and you just uh, wipe things down. It's great for dust. Um, if you have blinds, especially if you have, you know, the blinds that have the slats on them, this is really good to get all the dust off those kinds of blinds, the horizontal blinds. So that one's good um, for that. If you have a whiteboard, and I, I wrote this backwards so that it would show up. So that's my backwards writing, which I'm impressed with. So uh, if you have a whiteboard, you have an instant whiteboard marker. You just take your um, your sock and you've erased it with your uh, whiteboard marker. Okay, so there's that. Um, also, this is a, this kind of sock is really great for putting over a, a Swiffer. So instead of reusing all those um, Swiffer, uh, you know, the little pads that you can buy to go over your Swiffer, you just take your sock, put it over your Swiffer, and once you're done using this to Swiffer up your house or dust anything, this boop, right into the laundry wash it, use it again. All right, um, those kinds of socks are also really great. I don't have pets in my house, but if you have um, cats, dogs, anything like that, you can make pull toys or anything like that. Sock animals, super fun. Uh, so the next one we're gonna use is, let's say I've got this little um, candle holder, tea light candle holder. Let's say you're moving and you want to pack up all of your delicate items. Take an old sock, you put your delicate item in that sock, and instead of using newspaper or something like that, you gotta pack your socks anyways, there you go. It's a great thing to um, uh, helping you move your breakable items. Also, these kinds of socks are really good if you have single socks. Um, if you're moving furniture anywhere, put it under all the legs of your tables, your chairs, whatever you're moving, and then you're, not, you're gonna protect the floor. You're not gonna scratch the floors. So use it for moving furniture. Um, another really good one, have you ever been to a restaurant? Remember back in the days when we were allowed to go to restaurants? Have you ever been to a restaurant and you've had a wobbly table and you're stuffing napkins under the table to make it even? Take your sock, put it under the leg of one of your tables and it's gonna um, even out your table. You might need two socks, three socks, whatever you need. Um, use that under your table to um, make it less wobbly. Uh, what else? Um, so uh, you're doing laundry and you leave all your clothes in the dryer for a few days. I'm sure we've all done that. And you go to take them out of your dryer and everything is wrinkled. Take a sock, wet it, throw it in the dryer, put your dryer back on for 10 or 15 minutes and that wet sock is gonna pull out um, the wrinkles out of your clothes. Just make sure when your dryer stops this time, take your clothes out and fold them right away and the wrinkles will be gone. Also a good one is um, if anyone's ever used dryer balls, um, dryer balls are good to fluff up your clothes when you're using a dryer. So this is a tennis ball I have. This is an outdoor tennis ball. I do not want this in the dryer with all of my clean clothes. So I could just pop this, whoop. Did you see that? Whoops. Pop that into an old sock. There you go, instant dryer ball. Throw that in your dryer, it's gonna fluff up your clothes. Um, this single sock I'm holding on in case it's friend the other Maple Leaf sock makes its way back because, you know, go Leafs go. So this one would be a really good one to use for potpourri because it's nice and long. So if I have potpourri, I'm just gonna pour potpourri into this sock. It's nice and thin. And then I'm either gonna tie up the end um, or I can tie it out with a rubber band or um, tie some ribbon around it and then put this into a drawer and then I'm gonna have all my clothes smelling really nice because the potpourri will come out of that thin sock. So that's a good, a good one too. Uh, speaking of which, I live in a house of boys, very, very stinky socks. 
or sorry, sinky shoes. So what I do is I cut off the, the toes of a sock. So I just literally take a, an old sock and just cut off the toe here. And then I'm gonna pour baking soda. Baking soda is the key. It goes into the, the toe of the sock. I just tie this up with ribbon. You can use elastic, whoever you want. You put it into the toe of your um, shoe, leave that overnight, come get it the next morning, much better. So shoe deodorizers. What else? I got so many things. Okay, you have an ice pack. Um, you get a boo-boo. Ooh, that's so cold. You don't want to put that right onto your boo-boo. So you're going to get a uh, an old sock. This is a hamburger sock. Um, and you're going to put your ice pack in there. This one's probably a little bit thick for this uh, purpose, but you get the idea. And you're going to put your ice pack right into your sock. Put that back onto your boo-boo and you're going to get the benefit of the ice, but it's not going to be so cold for you. So there you go. That's one too. Uh, you're working out and you don't know where to put your phone. You're going to cut off the, this time you'll cut off the um, top of your sock. So just the, the um, top of it. And you can pull it up over your arm. Take your phone or your iPod or whatever you have. Pop that in there. This is a children's sock, so it's it's pretty tight on my arm. Um, pop that in there, woo, it's not going anywhere. You can do your workout, you can touch your headphones, whatever you want, and you're, um, I don't know if I'd suggest going for a run, but you can do a pretty decent workout um, with your uh, phone or your iPod there, and it's not gonna come off. Um, you've got a mug or a cup or a glass or something like that, and it's either really hot or really cold for your hands. You're gonna take a sock, and you're gonna pop that right into there. I know really how cute is that sock, right? And then you can just sort of fold down the top and you've made an instant like cozy for your beverage. So you can take that, it's not so cold on your hand or so hot on your hand. So it's like an instant sleeve that you've just made out of an old sock, easy. Um, and my last one, this one might be my favorite. Anyone that knows me knows I get super cold. Um, all the time. My hands get cold, my wrists get cold, everything get cold. I have an old pair of socks that I just don't like because this is too tight on my calf. So I was like, hmm, what can I do with this old pair of socks? Because I don't, they're, they're good socks. I don't want to throw them out, but they're too tight to wear. I don't like them. So I'm going to make arm warmers. So I'm just going to take my scissors. I'm going to cut it right at the heel, right where the seam is. And then that's gonna be for my thumb. And then I'm gonna cut off this one, it's easy. I'm just gonna cut it off right at that black line there. And then I have literally made arm warmers. You know how you have leg warmers? Well, you have arm warmers. So like, I'm gonna just fold that down. And um, that way, if you get cold wrists, cold hands, you now have arm warmers, but you still have your fingers free if you want to type or use your thumbs for your phone, but you've got nice warm armbands for the winter. Super easy. I could um, sew that down if I wanted to. I could hot glue gun some decorations on it, anything you want, arm warmers. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, a ton of different ways how to upcycle old socks, whether they're socks that have holes in them, whether there are um, socks that don't have partners, um, whether they're just socks you don't wear anymore. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's going to be a fabulous weekend, everybody. Get outside and get some fresh air and some sunshine. Thank you for joining me today on Friday. You're very welcome. Have a wonderful weekend. Be well, be healthy. See you next week. Bye.